hi guys welcome back to my channel now let's solve this tricky exponential equation together now are we using Lambert's w function no we are not using that are we using logarithm no we are not using logarithm are we using algebra manipulations yes all right so algebra manipulations is the simplest and the easiest way to find x all right so i'm going to show us how to do that solution so we have 2 raised to the power x equals to we have x raised to the power 2 how do we cancel out this x this power x we multiply this by 1 over x and whatever we do here we have to do here too so we also multiply this by 1 over x the x cancel this then we have 2 raised to the power 1 which is 2 equals to this becomes 2 over x all right now let's find a way to also cancel out these two and then what do we do we are going to multiply the power by 1 over 2 and then whatever we do here we have to do here too this is also 1 over 2 these two cancel these two then we have 2 raised to the power 1 over 2 equals to x raised power 1 over x that is what we have here all right now we can equate the basis and the powers okay so when we create the basis we have 2 and x as the basis and then we say 2 is equals to x and also we can equate the powers we have 1 over 2 and 1 over x as the power so we say 1 over 2 equals to 1 over x now 2 equals to x same thing as x equals to 2 Let's say that as one of our solutions. And then here we cross multiply. And we have x times 1 is x. And 2 times 1 is 2. So x is also 2 here. So that means that x equals to 2. Now let's check real quick to see if we are correct. Let's check. Now our equation is 2 raised to power x equals to x raised to power 2. And then we see our x is 2. Then we have 2 raised to the power 2 equals to 2 raised to the power 2. 2 raised to the power 2 is 4. So 4 equals to 4. Right. So, I mean, this is valid. It means x equals to 2 is a valid answer after checking. Now, let's try something similar to this. We have 6 raised to the power x equals to x raised to the power 18. Alright, so let's find x. Now let's use algebra manipulations. No lambda w function, no logarithm. Alright, so let's do that and write our answer under the comment section. Thanks guys for watching this. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. See you next time.